I just want to take a moment to talk to you all about willpower. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Whatever you meditate on, whatever you allow your mind to think, the thoughts that you think are going to manifest what happens next. So if you're thinking about food constantly, then you're going to want to eat. And if you think, maybe I should go get this, just this one time offer. And if you try to justify to yourself that that's going to be okay, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to go eat uh, something when you shouldn't. So you need to just make sure that you're babysitting your thoughts inside of your brain. Uh, I just switch one thought to another thought. The first thought would be, and I have these all the time, I've had that yesterday and I had it once today already, hmm, it'd be really good to eat something right now. Wow. And you know, and it wasn't even really for hunger, it was because I thought it would be tasty, delicious, and it would feel good and it'd be fun. And I really love to eat, I'm a glutton, okay? And so I thought about, hmm, just one thing, just one thing. I could just eat something small, something good. And then I could just continue on with my fast. Well, no. Wrong. That's not true. If you eat, you have to start your fast all over again. I know I've said, if you got to cheat, eat watermelon and then continue on. But I didn't mean continue on. That's the continuation of your fast. I mean, that's, you got to start over again, uh, technically, because you do have to empty your digestive system out. So, uh, <laughs> what you do when you have that kind of a thought is you go, oh my God, what am I thinking? I'm on a fast. So you think, I must not eat something. I must not eat something. I must do something else. Hey, time to pull out that handy dandy little list of things that you can do instead of eating, which might be going for a bike ride or going for a walk or calling friend and chatting for a while or uh, definitely stay away from things that are connected to eating. If you watch TV and eat, you probably don't want to watch TV. If you um, if you have activities that you pair with eating and you're on a juice fast, then you should not probably do those activities or you should hold off on them just for a little while until you get used to this whole fasting thing. It's gonna take you, um, it's gonna take you about a week to really get used to things, get your digestive system emptied out and lose the, the ravenous hunger. I wanna talk about TV. TV is a horrible thing to watch while you're fasting. And here's why. TV is all about food advertisements. And these food advertisements, no matter how much you think you can resist them, are super, super convincing and super brainwashing. If you can avoid TV, do it. If you can avoid advertisements, do it. I've always said the best case scenario for juice fasting would be out in the countryside where there's no billboards, no radio, no TV. And uh, if you could leave the internet behind and if you could like get off of all of those things that have all those advertisements that brainwash you to eat 24-7, then that would be a perfect situation for a juice fast. So hopefully that helps you guys. I just wanted to do this real quick. Remember, I'm doing it and you can too.